Hey guys, it's me Dave from the Kodo back with another set of tutorials for you today. We're going to be going through uh, the Gendistry bee uh, machines. Now that this is a good way to get into bees if you don't want to go through the process of the forestry bee machines. It can take a little bit of time to get used to. The first machine we're going to go over is right there behind me and that's the industrial apiary. Now it's going to function the same way as the forest apiary where you put uh, your princess and your drone or your, your queen directly into it and it's going to start to uh, the bees life is going to start to degrade and eventually it'll break apart and give you combs as well as any other bonuses that that specific bee might give you um, as well as give you the princess and the drone and a possibility of mutation depending on what that possibility is. The difference is this guy runs on power so you can see right here, power is filling up, 100,000 100, RF. Now this will take MJ or RF, both will work fine. Uh, right clicking on this machine is how you get the, uh, the screen up here. <clears throat> and making it is pretty simple, just some glass, sturdy casing, which is just um, bronze. Uh, piston is simple and bronze gear is pretty simple there. Uh, the B receptacle just requires some bronze, glass, and gold uh, weighted pressure plate and then redstone nothing too difficult and then obviously you do have to give it power now the good thing about these is they can be automated uh, to the point where they can just continually cycle around bees without too much work um, as you can see here you're going to put your your queen or your princess and drone right in here it's going to combine them into a queen and then this is going to be the uh, life cycle of the bee this lifespan um, you can see here it's always on Enable redstone, a couple of options there, um, and then this information panel will give you uh, information based on the environment that you're in and the bee that is in it. Now, like the other apiaries, it does need to have clear view to the sky prior to putting in any of the uh, upgrades here, and I'm going to go over that in just a second. These do require a flower within a certain within a couple blocks of it or within the general vicinity for it to work so depending on the bee you're working on the bees flower needs to be near it uh, for instance if you're working with nether bees you do need to have another wart near it um, these industrial apiaries are very good to get into the beekeeping because they they work quickly um, and they're easy to make and pound out real real quick now this section right here like I said is for the upgrades uh, now this is where there's an advantage to the gendistry apiary versus forestry apiary because before this you needed to have uh, a little end game uh, apiary to be able to control the heat and the humidity and that kind of thing uh, right off the bat you can put these upgrades in there and these upgrades are relatively easy to make so the light upgrade will make it so that uh, it's it's bright inside there all the time uh, the the seal upgrade will allow the bees to continue to work during rain uh, but the ones you're going to be looking at mainly are going to be the the temperature upgrades so you can see here the hostile environment it's kind of cold for this meadows queen so what I would end up doing is bringing up the temperature a little bit and where's that guy so you can see here we have winter emulation so we can get it for winter oh, here it is the heater upgrade now this will bring the temperature up 25 percent let's see if this is enough for this guy see and now that the temperature is at normal or is it yeah at a normal temperature you get a check mark and the bee will start to do his thing and uh, the life cycle will start to go so some of the other upgrades here, uh, like I said, you can make it so they work during the rain. These light upgrades will make them so they work during the night. Uh, you can bring down, you can bring it a little bit cooler, bring down the temperature if you need to. Life lifespan upgrade. There's, these things are really awesome to have, um, and they're pr relatively cheap to make. So for instance, let's look at the heater upgrade, the one I just did. Where to go? Oh, here's the planes emulation. This will emulate a planes environment. So you need to have these things to make it a grass block. So that's going to be a little bit difficult to get early on. But climbing control, it's just this stuff. Bronze, bronze gear. 
the environmental processor, you're going to need an assembly table, but the assembly tables are not difficult to get pretty early on. You just need one, it'll just take you a while to make it. Um, and the actual upgrade frame is just tin, gold nuggets, and redstone. So, as you can see here, the bee's working. That's his life cycle. So eventually what this is going to do is going to go all the way. And you should be able to see, I got my particles off, uh, but once you'll see the bee, like the little tiny particles all around it. Uh, but very, very nice to get into early on to get the bees going. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the other machines that will help you. Industrial Avery obviously is one of the first ones you're going to want to you want to make and get going on so that you can have those bees breaking apart and have the drones and the princesses so that you can combine them into different combinations and make different bees. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Stay tuned for some more of my tutorials in the future on more of the Gen Street machines. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.